So find the derivative of each function. So we will have five questions here. So we're going to solve the derivative of the given function. So number one, we have s of x is equal to x times x plus 5. So in order uh, to find the derivative, so we're going to distribute first yung x dito sa loob ng parentheses natin. So this will become x times x, that is x squared, plus 5x. Saka natin kunin yung derivative dito. So what is the derivative of uh, the given function? So kunin natin yung derivative ng x squared, that is 2x. Plus, what is the derivative ng 5x? That is 5. Okay, so again, pagkukuha tayo ng derivative, ito si 2, imumultiply natin sa numerical coefficient dito. So, ang numerical coefficient nito is 1. So, 2 times 1, kaya naging siya 2. And then, yung exponent natin na 2, babawasan natin ng isa. So, magiging 1. Since 1 na yun, di ko na nilagay dito. Same dito. Ang exponent ng x natin is 1 times 5, kaya siya 5. So, you make exponent ito na 1. Pag binawasan ng 1, 0 na. So, therefore, hindi na natin ilalagay. Okay? So, this will be the answer. Next, uh, this is f of x. Kulang ng given. f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 times x minus 6. So, during your junior high school, uh, nag-factoring kayo. So, pwede natin to using the FOIL method. So, first term muna, multiply natin. 2x times x is 2x squared. And then the outer term, 2x times negative 6, that is negative 12x. And then the inner term, 4 times x, that is 4x, positive 4x. And the last term, 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. So, combine similar terms, copy 2x squared, negative 12x plus 4x is negative 8x minus 24. Saka natin kunin ngayon ang derivative. So, f prime of x, what is the derivative of 2x squared? That is 2 times 2, that is 4. Copy yung x. Bawasan natin ito ng isa, so magiging 1 na lang. So, hindi na natin ilalagay. Minus, so what is the derivative of negative 8x? That is negative 8. And then, that will be the answer. 4x minus 8. Next, we have uh, y is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 times x minus 1. Okay, so what we're going to do is to multiply this you know, in the x first and then the second one is to the negative 1. So, you multiply muna natin bago natin kunin yung derivative. So, x squared times x, that is x cubed. X squared, uh, x, this one, no? second one, x times negative x times x is positive x squared. And then ito, 1 times x is positive x. Saka sa negative 1 naman. So, x squared times x is, uh, this one na tayo, no? sa x na pala tayo. So, x times x, that is x squared. Okay? And then after that, okay, so wait for a while. Para mas malinaw. Bray natin. So, yung x squared muna, yung multiply muna natin sa dalawa. So, we have, para di kayo mahirapan. So, x squared times x, that is x cubed. x squared times negative 1, that is negative x squared. Next naman, ito naman yung x. x times x, that is positive x squared. x times negative 1, that is negative x. Then yung 1, 1 times x, positive x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So, we're going to combine similar terms. So, since si x cube wala namang kaparehas dyan, so copy mo lang. So, negative x squared plus x squared, makakancel natin. Same din dito. So, ang maiwan na lang is x cube minus 1. Saka natin kunin yung derivative dito. So, y prime is equal to, okay, what is the uh, derivative ng x cube natin? That will become 3x squared. So, since negative 1 is a constant, so, that automatic zero na yun. So, therefore, ang derivative lang nung given natin is 3x squared. Next, we have f of x is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, during your grade 8, this is a sum and difference. 
ng perfect square. So, kapag ganito, ito lang, no? Ito lang yung shortcut dyan. Multiply mo lang yung first term. So, that is x squared. Positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Kasi ano siya, sum and difference ng perfect squared natin. So, ngayon, kunin natin yung derivative. Okay, kapag ganito, no? Halimbawa, ang given is x plus 3 times x minus 3. So, ang sagot niyan, x squared minus 9. Okay, o kaya, ang given ay x plus 4 times x minus 4. So, ang sagot nito ay x squared minus 16. Okay? So, kagaya dito sa given natin, balik tayo dito, the answer is x squared minus 4. So, what is the derivative of x squared? That is 2x. So, yun lang. Kasi ito constant na. So, this will be the answer. Okay, last, we have g of x is equal to 3 times 2x plus 4 times x squared minus 8. So, ang gagawin natin, si 3, multiply muna natin kay 2x plus 4. Or, pwede ito muna ang dalawa. Okay, so yung 3 muna, ilabas lang muna natin. 2x times x squared, that is 2x cubed. Okay, 2x times negative 8, that is negative 16x. And then, dito naman sa inner term, so we have 4 times x squared, that is 4x squared. 4 times negative 8, that is negative 32. Okay, combine similar terms. Copy lang ulit yung 3. So, copy 2x cubed. Copy 4x squared. So, negative 16x minus 32. Okay, saka natin i-multiply si 3 sa loob. So, magiging 3. Ano, this will be 6. 6 times 2 is 6x cubed. It's 3 times 4, that is positive 12x squared. 3 times negative 6, that is negative, uh, this is x, no? Negative 48x. 3 times negative 32 is negative 96. Okay. Saka natin kunin ngayon ang derivative. So, g prime of x. So, what is the derivative of 6x cubed? 3 times 6, that is 18 Bawasan ng isa, 18x squared plus 12 times 2 or 2 times 12 is 24. Bawasan natin ng isa, that is 24x na lang. Minus, so what is the derivative of 48x? So that is 48. Okay, so this will be now the answer.